hello everyone welcome back to this channel and i welcome you to this video in this video we are going to discuss about the metabolic abnormality in gastric outlet outlet obstruction uh, before we go into the discussion of the metabolic abnormalities in gastric outlet obstruction i would i would request you to consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel you may also follow us in our instagram page at the rate bite sized med for similar content so the main problem that is happening in gastric outlet obstruction is the gastric the gastric outlet is being obstructed that means the food or the chyme that is present in the stomach it cannot go into the uh, subse subsequent gi tract so it cannot enter into the duodenum it cannot enter into the small intestine and subsequently the large intestine right so whatever is present in the stomach it gets regurgitated out it has to be vomited out right and so vomiting is one big major problem in gastric outlet obstruction now what does vomiting do so this person is vomiting recurrent this person has experience or, or let's say this person is experiencing recurrent vomiting what does vomiting do to this person what does vomiting do to the electrolytes and fluids of this person is the first thing that happens is whatever content of the stomach or whatever had been secreted by the stomach into the lumen okay whatever had been secreted by the stomach into the lumen would have to be expelled out and that means if whatever was present in the stomach was expelled out that means there will be a deficiency of those things in the blood does it make sense so the the stomach normally extracts hydrogen and chloride from the blood and excretes it to the lumen and for that you know uh, please uh, please refer to the physiology of uh, hcl secretion okay so for for uh, for the purpose of digestion the the stomach or the body will secrete hydrogen and chloride into the stomach lumen and therefore if the person is vomiting a lot then the stomach also has to secrete a lot of hydrogen and chloride into the lumen all of which is being vomited out so there should be a deficiency of hydrogen and chloride in the body the deficiency of hydrogen causes a decrease in uh, causes an increase in the ph okay causes an increase in the ph and that is known as alkalosis the deficiency of chloride causes a decrease in the chloride con concentration in the plasma and that is known as hypochloremia so what is happening here is hypochloremic alkalosis hypochloremic chloremic alkalosis now i would strongly recommend you to uh, review the physiology of hcl secretion because uh, then you would understand that for every ion of hydrogen ion for every hydrogen ion that is secreted into the lumen one molecule of bicarbonate is reabsorbed into the blood so this also contributes to alkalosis and the loss of hydrogen ions also con contributes to alkalosis and because this now you know that um, ph disturbances can either be because of respiratory or metabolic cause now this is definitely not because of respiratory cause so this is known as a metabolic alkalosis a metabolic cause of alkalosis which is known as metabolic alkalosis so this is a hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis so we have understood the first part of uh, electrolyte or the metabolic abnormality in gastric outlet obstruction now the second part of gastric outlet obstruction is because of vomiting itself it is because of vomiting itself so this person is vomiting continuously vomiting he is vomiting whatever he is he has eaten and um, and he is also not being able to feed properly right so all of these things they contribute to hypovolemia in this patient so the person will lose a lot of fluids also along with electrolytes along with all of these electrolytes the person will also lose a lot of fluids from the plasma and that condition is known as hypovolemia so a condition of hypovolemia would trigger the kidneys to activate the renin angiotensin system because uh, hypovolemia would subsequently mean that the renal perfusion has decreased hypovolemia would subsequently decrease the renal perfusion a decrease in renal perfusion would be 
would result in a decrease in the glomerular filtration rate. A decrease in GFR would activate the renin angiotensin activation system, right? RAS system, and ultimately aldosterone would be activated. Now, what does aldosterone do? So, aldosterone basically it inserts epithelial sodium channels. These are known as epithelial sodium channels. And these epithelial sodium channels in the tubules of the kidneys, they help in reabsorption of sodium and water. So remember, there is a state stage of there is a state of hypovolemia in this patient. So the body is trying to preserve the intravascular volume. So the body is trying to reabsorb water by concentrating the urine. Right. So this is the urine. This is the urine the body would want to concentrate the urine hence this dark yellow color of the uh, of, of of the tubule so uh, the body would want to reabsorb water as well as sodium with the help of epithelial sodium channels that are placed here by the action of aldosterone okay but as you know for like the body has to maintain homeostasis so if the body is excessively if the body is reabsorbing positive charges it should also either it should also reabsorb uh, a negative charge so but that is not possible because epithelial sodium channels are not designed to reabsorb chloride or any other negatively charged molecule so the body now has to excrete uh, positive charges so that the body does by excreting potassium and hydrogen okay so basically sodium is exchanged with potassium and sodium is exchanged with hydrogen and water flows along the osmotic gradient okay so there is a loss of hydrogen which is again which again contributes to alkalosis however as you can see that there is a loss of potassium also and this contributes to hypokalemia so therefore combining all of these things the metabolic abnormality in uh, gastric outlet obstruction would be hypokalemic hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis again the main uh, metabolic abnormality in gastric outlet obstruction would be a hypokalemic hypochloremic metabolic alkalosis thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed uh, this so short conceptual video then please consider subscribing uh, because i will be uploading similar content in the future please consider pressing the bell icon to never miss an update thank you so much